All right, Bill, thank you. Racist memorabilia is hanging on Ferris State's campus tonight and tomorrow. The Jim Crow Museum will open to the public. 24 Hour News 8's Crystal Hilliard got a sneak peek of the museum tonight and is showing us what discussion the founder hopes will come from it. I want them to learn what it was like to be an African American living in the United States in a period of Jim Crow. Segregated water fountains, blackface caricatures, and rag dolls captured and put on display do just that. Of course we get people that, that say you shouldn't spend money on this or why don't you build a museum about whites or, or Mexicans or you're just starting trouble and the like and again you know uh, we're a free facility I invite all those people and anyone else to come because if they come here they will get it. Dr. David Pilgrim grew up in the segregated south where this was reality. He used the tools used to dehumanize an entire race as visual aids for teaching and props for public speaking. But now they're on display for the world to see. I know that people are going to going to experience some things emotionally because there, there are parts in here that, that, are, that are emotional. But I don't want it to stay there. Um, you know, good, thoughtful dialogue about race where we actually start talking about policies. You know, what is it we as a nation need to be doing to improve race relations? Dozens got an early look at the Jim Crow Museum of Racist Artifacts tonight. Oh boy, look up. Many of which telling us it's impossible not to feel something. It has to be talked about. It, children should be introduced to it as soon as they start school full time. And you continue to cultivate it and you tell the truth. That's the only way you eradicate the evil of ignorance. And the prize is, is, is to find a way to create a space where people talk better, deeper, with more accuracy about where we were and where we need to go. And although a lot of the depictions are heartbreaking, the museum is rounded out by the progress our country has made. The museum officially opens Thursday morning. In Big Rapids, Crystal Hilliard, 24-hour news.